Yo, how's it going guys? This is Sabro 94 Decided to show you guys another Digimon deck profile today. It's going to be based on the color black once again, and it's going to be a budget deck. It's going to have some similarities with my other black blocker deck. We do have a focus on blockers in this deck too, but it's going to be more offensive and more focused on reboot. So, we got the Digimon X, and um, once again, this is going to be a budget deck, a very beginner deck. You can build it for under 30 euros, 30 dollars, so should be pretty nice, very simple deck. We got three Kapurimons for the X and two Tumblemons for, well, the rest of the X. I only have three Kapurimon, if you have four, you probably want to do four. But to be honest, the Tumblemon is pretty good as well. We are going to have a lot of blockers in this deck and um, it's going to benefit many of our cards, so that's why this card is good. Tumblemon gives all of your blocker Digimon a thousand on your opponent's turn, so making them better to block. And then Kaburimon gives us a thousand DP to all of our Digimon with Reboot on our turn. So once again, more offensive. And that's pretty much it. I mean, most of the cards in here, like the main Digimon we want to get out, are going to have all of them Reboot pretty much. And then Greymon has blocker. Metal Guru Mon, I want to get a blocker on that guy on that guy too. We have a few cards to do that. But nevertheless, you get the boosts. Boots you guys. That's what the eggs are about. Alright. Then I've got our main Digimon, main card, level 6. This Metal Guru Mon from BT6. A bit of an old card, but uh, I wanted to try it out. It's kind of cool. It's got some standard stats. Uh, 3 Digi Evolution, 11,000. So, it won't pass over to your opponent's turn when it's a um, 4 digit evolution. A lot of times, you don't have a choice if you evolve into it, you gotta pass on your opponent's turn. But with 3, it might still remain your turn so you can do stuff, attack with it. It has naturally, it naturally has reboot. So it's gonna get the boost from Kaburimon and other of our cards in here. And that's pretty nice. It means that you can attack, it's gonna unsuspend on your opponent's turn. So it's gonna be safe from your opponent's bigger Digimon. Hopefully, I mean they could kill it with some effects and stuff But the idea with reboot is that your guys in suspend they can't be targeted by your opponent's Digimon's attacks And then its other effect is a digiburst effect You digiburst two, trash two of your digievolution materials And you can delete an opponent's Digimon with a play cost of six or less Now it's an okay effect. It's not the greatest range play cost of six but to be honest, it's better if we miss it a lot of times, because if you don't delete something, then you trash your opponent's security card, one of their securities. And that's pretty nice, because it's not going to trigger any security effects and stuff, because it's a trashing effect. And it once again plays into the aggressiveness. This is a more aggressive deck, offensive deck. Get rid of your opponent's security and then attack for another security. Good stuff. So that's the Metal Garuruman. Simple card. Then we got, damn, uh, we got the War Greymon. Should move the cards a little bit. Okay, I think that's better. All right, um, War Greymon. I really like this card. It's a very flexible card. You can have it in like a black blocker deck, a uh, black reboot deck, because it naturally has both of these uh, effects. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's another three eleven thousand standard stats. Um, good shit, I would say, and um, it pretty much gains the benefit of both of our eggs, Tumblemon or Kapurimon, and most of the other cards in here. So pretty good. Uh, block and Reboot. These are the only level 6 we have, 6 cards. Then the Rookies, or like the Child Digimon, I do 4 of the Sunarizamon. So this is the guy that basically like every color has uh, for the Digiburst when you trash it with a Digiburst effect. You can get it back in hand, so it's a nice plus. It means that if I don't have any other rookies, I can reuse this again to evolve with my eggs and stuff. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's the only thing it does. So you really want to get this on... Well, get this and get Metal Garurumon on it, of course. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of useless. But I mean, Digiburst deck with Metal Garurumon, we sort of have to run it. If you want to do three and maybe do some of the different cards that I'm going to mention later, it's fine. But I decided to max it out and uh, reap the benefit when we can. Alright. 
Next up, we got four of the Chikuriman. Once again, just like last time, not the biggest fan of this card, but when it does trigger in the security, it's pretty busted. D Digivolve 1, so you get rid of an opponent's, um, your opponent's best Digimon, basically. So that's nice. Uh, well, the the top evolution, the, the, the top card, basically. You're not gonna delete it all together. But you know what I mean. So that's it. I mean, if it doesn't trigger in the security, then it's another useless card. But um, you might as well run it. Either you're gonna run it in a four, or I don't know, uh, run maybe a, a few less. The idea is you wanna run a lot, so hopefully you get lucky and one of them ends up in the security. That's the point. All right. Then we do three Hagurumon. So um, I guess in one of this guy I talk about them together. Um, I really wanted to have a lot of copies of this Toy Akumon. It gives all of our blockers a thousand, so it helps a lot of the cards here still. And it helps War Greymon. But this card is really, really necessary. Hakurumon gives us that plus one on play. You know, trash two, or trash a cyborg or machine and then draw two cards. It boosts the speed of the deck. And it's really important so that we get what we need. I don't got like, uh, fancy searchers everywhere here so cards like these are good um so we had to make some sacrifices so i can't run everybody all the rookies like in the blocker deck so just have one of these if we get this on the war graymon it's good otherwise uh, this guy's gonna give us that speed all right and we do run a lot of machines in this deck as well and cyborgs uh, metal guru mine is also a cyborg too gotta keep that in mind probably don't want to discard him but just keep that in mind. Then for the um, adults slash champions, I've got four of the Tankmon. Uh, solid attack 6,000 and uh, the one DG evolution cost, which is great. You know, get to your evolutions faster when you got low cost like that. You can hopefully get a couple of DG evolutions before you run out of memory. So it's nice. It is also a cyborg, so compatible with um, Hakudumon. That's why it's here. Then we got the one, or not two actually, Dark Tyrannomons. Once again, it's a level one. Digimon is a dinosaur, it's not a machine or a cyborg, so it doesn't synergize with Hagurumon, but it's a one Digi Evolution, is a blocker, something we can have there for a little bit of defense until we evolve. And um, it's it's one, it's a one Digi Evolution. So fast Digi Evolution once again. And blocker, we can benefit from Tumblemon, benefit from few guards, that's why. Then I got two of the Grizzly Mons. So I had four of this guy at first, once again, because he's just a Digi Evolution one, help us get into our uh, evolution chain quickly. But um, I dropped the two and added two of this guy because he just has more synergy in the deck. He's a blocker, he's really useful, and uh, he is a machine, so he's compatible with Hagurumon. So, uh, we gotta have enough targets for Hagurumon, just to make sure the deck is consistent. Uh, but Grizzly Mon, I mean, it's just a vanilla level one, you just play this and then hopefully you evolve into your level five, which we have a lot of in this deck. Okay, and um, that's it. Gardamon can attack, but we don't really want to attack with cards like this. We want to evolve into our main guys quickly. That's the point. Okay. And then for the last four, it's one Shade Mon. Blocker and security is not a machine or a cyborg, but uh, if you get it off in the security, it's nice. It's a free summon. And he's a blocker. Gotta have a few of those in this deck since I got Tumble Mon. So that's all the level fours. 11, I'm quite sure. And then for the level fives, we have a lot of them. And you'll see why if you don't already know. I got two of the Metal Greymon. So this is where a lot of the Reboot Digimon are going to come in. So Reboot, it's going to get the boost from Kapurimon. It's going to be 8,000. That's still not too good. But if your opponent does attack with um, uh, weaker Digimon, then you can kill them off and then get the Reboot effect uh, during your opponent's turn. And you're going to be safe. So that can't be kind of handy against lower Digimon that want to attack. But other than that, I have him for the Inheritable. If your Digimon has Reboot, you get Security Attack plus one. So War Greymon and Metal Garurumon can take advantage of this. 
Let's wait for more security. Okay. Then I got four of the Black Mac Gaogaman. So this guy, once again, has Reboot 7000. Not the greatest stat, but uh, it's gonna give 2000 heritable to our Reboot. Reboot Digimon, so Greymon can get this, Metal Garumon can get this, so once again, it's a pretty significant boost. And obviously, we become big, we can kill off our opponent's Digimon or swing to their security without the worry of dying. And then we unsuspend our own opponent's turn. So even though you're not going to have the boost, you should be kind of safe. So that's the point. Then I got one, or actually no, three of Megadramon. No, two. Two Megadramon and one Gigadramon. Confusing ass cards, but um, they're cool. Um, 2000 on your turn with the Megadramon and 2000 during your opponent's turn with Gigadramon. So a little bit of a defense too with Gigadramon. Uh, this can be pretty handy if we do get the blocker on um, Metagal Ruman. And obviously this is gonna benefit War Greymon anyway. So you can block with high defense. So that's pretty nice. And that's pretty much it. They, these guys don't have reboot. They are only 7,000, so they're not that strong. Once again, it's just for the inheritable booster stats. Damn, come on. And then we got two of the other Megadramon from the old starter deck with the black. So this is my only way to give blocker to uh, Metal Garumon. If, we, if it was machine, we could have used some different cards actually. But because it's Cyborg, this is the only thing I can use to give him Blocker. Um, it's going to be completely useless on War Greymon. Well, unless they get rid of one of his Blocker. I don't know, but it's it's mainly for Melagurumon. Give it Blocker, and then it's going to have Reboot and Blocker. And that can be pretty cool. Um, that's it. It's also Cyborgs. All of the level 5s are Cyborgs uh, that I've talked about. And this is important. Andromon, four of this card. You guys know I really like it if you watch my other deck profile. It's got nothing to do with Reboot, but if we get this out and uh, we don't evolve... Uh, we don't evolve Metal Garumon on top of it, it's going to give all of our blockers 2,000 in your opponent's turn, and this can really add up. It makes Walk Raymon a lot stronger. It obviously helps himself, gives you some nice defense, and the effect stacks, if you get more of them out, is good. He is a cyborg once again, so I can use it with Hagurumon, discard it, and draw two, and another card. Um, and yeah, it's just a, a nice card. I mean, if you get the blocker on Metagurumon, it's gonna help him out too. So that's Andromon, it's 15, um, 15 level 5s, and we have a lot of them, uh, well, for two reasons. But first things first, we got uh, two, it's not, it's it's Koshiro slash Easy, but it's basically substitutes for Tai Chi. I have one ordered from Card Market, those cards are expensive for some reason. And um, yeah, just treat this as a, a Tai Chi, the black one. It has the same memory setting boost as this guy, but the other effect is um, during your opponent's turn, you your Digimon, your Black Digimon gain a thousand. So it helps with uh, our defense once again, blocking. If our opponent's gonna attack our guys, we're gonna be stronger. So that's the point. Um, they're not they're not Koshiros. Treat them as Tai Chi's. Okay, it's my only tamer. And that's because we run four of the ultimate connection. So I only ran one of this card in my other black blocker deck because uh, we didn't have too many of, uh, well, we had enough of the level fives, but I'm running a lot of them in this deck and I do wanna take advantage of this card uh, because we're not always gonna have blocker. I, it doesn't make sense for me to run Joe and other tamers but this is actually pretty good because it only costs one. We discard a level five cyborg, which we have plenty of. Uh, you basically gain the memory back plus one. You gain two memory, then you draw a card. 
So it, it really boosts the speed of your deck. You know, you this with Hagurumon drawing a bunch of cards, seeing the stuff you need and evolving into your guys. It helps. It's also why I don't have uh, as many level threes as the, the other black blocker deck that I've showed. It's because we got this thing, this card, it helps us draw. So it'll help you see what you need, like whether you need a level four or level three, it helps. And that's basically the deck. It's a reboot deck. It's very, very budget. Once again, it's not gonna be the strongest tier zero deck of all time, but um, it's something you can have fun with, mess around with. Um, I don't think there's really any many cards from the newer sets that would help. Um, I can think of uh, maybe there's one Digimon Black that gives you, I think, Reboot. But uh, we have, our, our guys naturally have Reboot here on level 6s. So I, I only have cards from up to X Record BT9. If there's any new cards you feel can help this deck, you can use them. But I checked around and I didn't really see much. And this is the deck, guys. It's a, a black reboot deck, really budget. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. What a!